Thank you so much for giving me a few minutes to talk with you at this very important gathering of people of faith, of faith leaders. I am who I am today because of an activist faith community. And I know every single day I enter the United States Senate that I would not be here if it wasn't for the black church, if it wasn't for church leaders, if it wasn't for activists of faith who understand that faith without works is dead. We now have many pressing issues that highlight this moral moment for our country. These aren't partisan issues. This is not right or left, this is right or wrong. Let's take the farm bill, for example. There is a Senate bill and a House bill. I voted for the Senate bill because of an array of programs that support the social safety net and in any ways make progress for working people, struggling folks. I'm a senator that lives in an inner city, predominantly black and brown community that is low income, hardworking people who bring home not enough resources. And many of the folks in my community, at my corner bodega, they use and affect food stamps. Now that program is essential. The House bill, unfortunately, threatens to cut that program savagely. Hundreds of thousands of Americans who are now enjoying those benefits would lose them at a time that many of us know we need to expand the social safety net because Americans are working harder and harder, but in real terms, making less money because the cost of everything is going up, but their wages are not. For a moral call in our country, we must protect programs that support people who are struggling in the wealthiest nation on the planet Earth just to make ends meet. So your voice, not just on the farm bill, the Senate version, but speaking up for these programs against treacherous lies about these programs that make people forget the fact that the biggest beneficiaries of these programs are young people, children, are elderly folks. And there is a huge segment of folks who work full-time jobs, often in restaurants, serving food that they can't afford to buy because their salaries and wages are too low, stripping the dignity of work away from folks. We need to address these issues, not just with food stamps and other programs, but God, please, we need to be raising wages for Americans as a whole. Secondly, I want to talk about Justice Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court. This is problematic in the fact that the President of the United States is a subject of a criminal investigation. Uh, that he has now been, by his own personal lawyer, alleged to be a criminal co-conspirator in criminal behavior. Now, no one is above the law. Whether you live in my community or whether you are the President of the United States, and one of the most fundamental basic ideas is that you should not be able to pick who is your judge. Well, right now, the President of the United States has picked the one person on his list supplied to him by conservative think tanks, and I said openly, hey, I don't think you should be under any kind of criminal investigation. And if any of these matters come before the Supreme Court, you can rightfully assume that he would protect the president. But more than this, he would tip the court dramatically away. His record on voting rights, on civil rights, on workers' rights, on individual rights, this would be an assault on so many of the gains that we as a nation have made in affirming civil rights and voting rights and workers' rights and the rights of everyday Americans against large multinational corporations, the obscenity of money that's pouring into our politics, all of these issues, we know how Kavanaugh would likely decide. In fact, on something as, I believe, sacred and urgent, a right, this idea that every American, if we're created equal, should have equal opportunity for everything from an education to basic life-saving health care. Well, we know there is a case already working through the federal courts where very basic ideas like, hey, if you have a pre-existing condition, you should not be able to be denied health insurance. Well, that can now be chosen, decided by the Supreme Court in the, in the near future. And Kavanaugh, we know what he would decide. We could get back to a place in America where people are being denied insurance coverage, cast into bankruptcy and worse because they can't afford to get medical coverage. For all of these reasons and more, your voice, your leadership, your work is critically important. These are challenging days. We have darkness cast, casting shadows over our land, but the light of the Lord, the church, 
which is not about a building, but the body of Christ is the church community, is us as individuals. This is our moment of calling. Thank you for answering that call. Thank you for this gathering. And I know whenever two or three are gathered together in his name, he is in the midst. And so I wish you the best in your righteous work. May this gathering be fruitful and may we go out and do his will, care for the sick, be there for the poor, elevate the ideals and values of this nation in the practice and the treatment of all, from those in prison, from those who are elderly, all Americans deserve dignity, deserve hope, deserve the promise and the dream that this country represents.